Schoolboy, I have a mechanical chrono where the second hand doesn't reset to 12 and not to the same spot each time. What, what's the brand? What's the manufacturer? Based on position when reset pressed, do you think that means the hand is loose or is there something wrong inside? It's probably due for a service. Um, a lot of times what ends up happening is people will lubricate the chronograph hearts either with the wrong lubricant or way too much and that lubrication gets sticky and gummy over time. So when the reset hammers come in and smack that chrono heart, they end up getting stuck. So it doesn't have like freedom of motion to completely return to zero. So if you, if you end up smacking it from, you know, say like 4.30, it'll get stuck on one side and then you smack it from 6.30 and it'll get stuck on the other side, that sort of thing. Six things, say like 7.30. Um, basically one side is six o'clock or the other. Because the very peak of the heart is gonna be, should be right at six o'clock. So when the hammer comes to strike one side or the other of the heart, it really depends on which way it's going to reset. I don't know if that made any sense whatsoever, but if it was working fine on up until that point, that's likely the case, is that it's due for service. And I know how annoying that is. <laughs> I really do. So, movement is at a modular. Oh, it's a module, right? So it's not a 7750 chronograph. It's like a 2894, 2894, and then it has a module stacked on top. Makes sense. Rogan list the watch is designed to return to 12, the same direction every time those exist too. Oh, uh, you might be thinking of a flyback. It was working fine before, uh, so that all sounds right to me. 2894, okay. Um, the module might not be entirely serviceable, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case in your particular application. But sometimes those modules from the factory, the, the watch comes in for a service and they'll just replace the entire module. Um, it, Certainly.